Here's Ian Duncan Smith in November of last year. A deal is often ready. Let's get Brexit done and take this country forward. This is a man who not only voted for the withdrawal agreement, that, as you will remember, better informed people were explaining, didn't do all of the things that they claimed that it did. So he not only voted for the withdrawal agreement, Ian Duncan Donuts, he also voted to reduce the amount of parliamentary scrutiny that would be allowed of the withdrawal agreement. You'll remember that Conservative MPs who wanted time to go through it with a fine tooth comb got chucked out of the parliamentary party. This, this is the same man. He, he said in November, November the 5th, 2019, it's there in black and white, a deal is often ready, let's get Brexit done and take this country forward. And then he voted for it. And then he voted to prevent other MPs from scrutinising it. And then he uh, supported the Prime Minister who elected to eject MPs who wanted more time to scrutinise it from the Parliamentary Party. And here he is yesterday. And, and you might want to sit down for this. This is the same man, all right, Ian Smith who in order to accelerate his social climbing and his political ambitions, not only lied on his CV about his education at the University of Perugia, but also started using his middle name as if it was double-barrelled in the hope of sounding posh. Whilst the UK wants to have a good trade relationship with the EU as a sovereign state, the EU has different ideas. They want our money and they want to stop us being a competitor. The withdrawal agreement was... We, this is the line, all right? You know these moments that I tell you are coming and you think, oh, shut up, James, get over yourself, and then they come? I don't know how you process this. How do you stay loyal to the cause? Here's the line. The withdrawal agreement we signed last year sadly helps them to avoid their own budget black hole, and this is where he mistakes the difference between a, a divorce payment and the settlements of outstanding debts. So he writes, to avoid their own budget black hole, the EU gets £39 billion as a divorce payment from us, reflecting our share of the current EU budget, i.e. outstanding debts. It's not a divorce settlement. But it gets worse. This is the, this is the moment where I think you would imagine anybody with even a scintilla of shame would hang their head. This is a man who voted for the withdrawal agreement and voted to prevent Parliament from scrutinising it and supported the Prime Minister who sacked, essentially, the politicians in his own party who wanted to scrutinise it. Listen to this. But it gets worse. Buried in the fine print, unnoticed by many. How, how can he write those words, knowing that he voted against parliamentary scrutiny of the bill? Unnoticed by many is the fact we remain hooked into the EU's loan book. So, leaving aside the huge error of confusing a settlement of debt with a divorce payment unnoticed buried in the fine print unnoticed by many is the fact we remain hooked into the eu's loan book in in other words we are still liable for debts that we have that that is to me of all the brexit bonkersness this is one of the choicest morsels of utter idiocy and it's the inability to realise how stupid he is that essentially explains Ian Duncan Smith's entire life. Anybody with an iota of intelligence would be too embarrassed to seek public office if they realised how little intelligence they actually have. But he's got so little intelligence, he thinks he's clever. And that is really at the root of so much of what's gone on in British and American politics in recent years. <laughs> 